check this out right here. If you're on my YouTube family, rock with me today. Check this out right here. We're going all the way in. We're going in quick. We're going in fast before any complications, any issues pop up. Uh, welcome to the Lord Christopher Hour. Huh? AK the Omega Show. Welcome. Uh, I'm a little fuzzy today, a little gray and all of that, a little puffy and all of that, you know, pumping them juices and coffee and all that sugary shit. That ain't no good for you. My apologies. Not a photogenic person, none of that. So just listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth instead of, you know, sweating my appearance and thinking about what I done did in my life and who I am and all. Just listen to what the fuck I'm telling you today, please. You hear me? How y'all out there? Uh, Mama Africa, Dominican Republic, love y'all, love y'all. Um, uh, 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 Belize, so much love for you guys out there, you hear me? Uh, all over the world, everywhere, everywhere, we love y'all, everywhere. So check it out. I brought back um, this day in history, the facts. We're gonna keep it pumping today though, we're gonna keep it pumping. We got a lot to get to in a short amount of time, so quickly on some random crazy shit in 1453 Constantinople uh, which was the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire it fell on this day it ended the uh, Byzantine Empire it fell on this day in history 1453 1592 uh, this day in, in history actually brought us the very first use of, of the Korean turtle ship Google that shit, look it up. <laughs> they use turtle ships and they actually, um, the Korean Navy, they actually repelled the Japanese fleet with these turtle ships. You dig? All right, 1660, Charles II, he came out of exile. He was over there in the Netherlands in exile, hiding out. Uh, but he came to claim the English throne. You know, old boy's pop. Uh, uh, well, not pop pop, but you know, on down. Um, he came to claim the English throne after the Puritan Commonwealth came to an end. Okay? And so I, I and, and, and real quickly, I spoke about these empires coming to an end because I want you and you and you and all of you out there to realize that, you know, even those people, they felt like this shit would never end. We, we're just growing and we're expanding and da 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 da. Okay? Um, I want to show you that things have a history of coming to an end, you know what I'm saying? Lots of great fucking empires came to an end. And I'm saying that because America, you, you, you know, you really should take heed because you are fast approaching doom and destruction the way you're at it. I mean, you just can't seem to get off of this, this fucked up um, cycle you're in. And so, uh, those of you that are out there that, that think that, you know, these politicians are pushing us the way that we should be going and these hate mongers and these Klansmen and these neos and these nationalists and all these other people just, you think that they're telling you the right shit. I mean, shit has a way of coming to an end. That's all I'm saying. These hate mongers want to make you think, they want to make you think that the way America is running, well, you know, these slime ball politicians and what they're, what they're doing for them as they put all this money in their pockets. Um, so in, in turn, these politicians, they, you know, they, you know, they sway them with all these lies and rhetoric and they're like, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, 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 we'll do, you know, and they, you know, but they come over here on this side and say the same thing to these people. And, you know, they're making all these different deals and riding the fence and, you know, and all kind of crazy shit. And these hate groups, you know, they want you to think that, you know, this is the only way that America could push forward and be great or whatever. We're not great. You know, we're not a great nation anyway to start with. You know what I mean? Um, this country was founded off of hate, bigotry, murder, um, slavery, uh, trafficking, and they're still doing the same thing. Your politicians are still doing the same thing. You know, don't believe me. Just, you know, just check up on your, you know, on your history and see how these empires fell. And if you don't believe me about this other stuff, Google shit. Google shit. It's out here to Google. But anyway, um, 1851. Let me jump over here. 1851. So, Journal Truth. And for those of y'all um, 
for those of us that don't know who Miss Truth was. So during the Truth was an American ab abolitionist, I'm sorry, excuse me, and a woman's rights activist, right? Uh, she was born into slavery, like so many of us was back then, um, were back then, but she escaped that shit, simple and, and plain, point blank period, she escaped that shit. You know, she took her daughter and she peeled the fuck out. She was like, this ain't the life that I wanna live, you know? So to my women out there, you know, she peeled the fuck out. She got her daughter and was like, yeah, I'm not doing this. So to my women out there, and, and, and I big up a lot of you women because, you, you know, you, you guys are really pushing um, pushing the envelope. You're changing, you get things done, man. You're changing the way, you know, you're being perceived in the workplace. You're changing. It. And look at this law right now. These politicians are still trying to tell you what you can do with your own body. You know what I mean? We got to we gotta do better. We got to come together. It's, if now is not the time for us to come together, then when will be the time? After... Well, no, 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 I don't want to get off topic and get too passionate about all of this other stuff. But anyway, Miss Sojourner Truth, on this day, Miss Truth, she addressed the very first ever Black Women's Rights Convention in Akron, Ohio. She did some major shit back then. Women's Rights Convention. You know what I mean? Women have been doing their thing for a long time, and so sticking together has always been key. And so now, I wouldn't mind for you women out there to just stop thinking that uh, all of us are against you, all men are against you. So just like if all black people thought that all white people were against them, we would have, we, we would have never came as far as we have in the civil rights struggle. You see what I'm saying? Our, our European American brothers and sisters helped us a lot and they still help us. And, and it's the same way with you women, you know what I'm saying? You know, all of us are not slime balls. All of us don't disagree with everything you do and want to do and, 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 and are and you know and this type of thing. So let's stop, let's end this imaginary beef between the male and the female. And because our politicians have done such a great job of making us think that there is an issue, now you perceive it as such and you go through life thinking that all men are against you, all males, all males, you know what I mean? So we gotta, we gotta stop that right there. But anyway, in 1886, I'm just throwing this in there because I'm a Coke, I'm a Coke fan. I, I fuck with Coke. Um, American chemist John Pemberton, he began advertising Coca-Cola. Yeah, I drink Coca. I, I drink Sprite. I love the Sprite. You know what I mean? Your thirst, you know all of that. But uh, he, he began. He was a chemist. He came up with these goddamn, you know, you know what they say. Shit had Coke in it back in real cocaine in it back in the days. I don't know. I wasn't living back then, but I rock with the Coke. But anyway, wait, 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 wait. Did you know that on this day, wait, 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 did you know that on this day in history, way back in 1912, that 15 young women were fired from their jobs by the Curtis Publishing Company in Philadelphia for dancing the uh, turkey trot during their lunch break. They were dancing during their lunch break. They danced the turkey trot, you know what I mean? And, and and they got fired for that. So just think about some of the things that, you know, uh, employers still want to fire you for. They look on your social media, they look at this, they want to, you know, it, it, it's, you know, it's still kind of crazy. So if you aspire to be a boss, do better. If you are a boss, do better. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that was way back then, but today, you know, it's not so bad, but we still have our little stuff, we have our little issues. Um, but can you imagine that? They got fired on their lunch break. Anyway, uh, we're gonna start our show off today, big. I'm gonna just go ahead right into it. You know, um, I, wanted, I wanted to say that, you know, before I got off of that topic, uh, of, you know, people being fired on the lunch break, uh, the women, you know, the suffrage movement, you know, there's a lot, of, there's been a lot of movements um, by women for lack of good treatment, half-ass treatment, I wanna say, I'm just saying half-ass treatment, there's been a lot of uh, movements. And so, I just wanna throw out there that we still, we, we still have a long way to go, man. 
You know what I mean? We still have a long way to go before, um, not even just everybody, but just a lot of people have their rights, you know what I'm saying, protected. A lot of their freedoms protected, you know what I mean? We still have a long way to go, and, and, and this is supposed to be the land of the free. So this is why I'm saying that. Um, we still have a long way to go. So this is why I want to start this show off today with this right here. So I'm starting off today with, with, with just that, that such example. You know, in July 2012, check, check me out here. Follow me right here. Um, in July 2012, Heather Heyer, Heather Heyer, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, Heyer. Um, it's a German name, but she, she started working as a paralegal and legal assistant for a uh, well-known law firm in Charlottesville, Virginia, right? Um, this was a very loving person, very good person, according to um, everyone that knew her. She was a staunch Bernie Sanders fan and a supporter. She supported the burn, she still the burn, you know what I mean? She supported the burn, but she also supported um, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Um, Ms. Hyatt never tried to tone down her beliefs. She never tried to make anyone think that she was anything other than exactly who she was. So big ups to her mother and father for raising such an exquisite person, an exquisite uh, female, um, marvelous individual on all accounts, right? Um, but she was, she was, you know, she was very outspoken and and often went to social media to to protest unfair treatment of women or, or Muslims or or any other, or, you know, so-called minority, what they call a minority that, you know, that whatever uh, situation that she came upon, if she didn't view it as fair, then, you know, she she reached out, she, she protested it, and she reached out and tried to get others to uh, see her point of view on, on social media, point of view, excuse me. Um, but Ms. Hyer also once posted on Facebook, which, which, I will never forget. You know, I have it written now, but more importantly, I have it tattooed uh, in one of the chambers of my brain. You know what I'm saying? She said, she, she, she put on a Facebook post that if you're not outraged, you're not paying attention. This was way back then. This was just years ago. If you're not outraged, then you're not paying attention. So what's changed? This was 2017. Um, if you were not outraged in 2017, then you're not paying attention. And I, on my channel, on the Omega Show, every time I get behind this camera, I'm telling you people that you're not paying attention. And I'm saying, I'm saying it blatantly and bluntly that you're not paying attention because you don't give a fuck. You don't care about your children. So, 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 19 others were injured in the crash that took Miss Hyer's life. Two others died that day also. But 19 others were injured in the crash that took Ms. Hyer's life. 19 others. Now, what was so different about this chaotic episode that just recently happened over here in Uvalde, Texas? Okay, let me tell you the difference. Let me tell you the difference. And that a massive amount of people, um, those 21 people, Ms. Hyer died, two others died, but Ms. Hyer died in this crash and the 19 other victims were injured. Okay, a few short days ago in Uvalde, Texas, all 21 of these victims were murdered. And the majority of them, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And the majority of them were children. Okay, they were children. So I think the oldest amongst them was, was, was what, what, 11? Maybe 11 years old, I think. I mean, yeah, there were, there were uh, a few adults, I believe. There were a few adults. But I'm speaking about the children right now. The oldest, and, and I think it was a couple of them, but the oldest was only 11 years old. Babies, these are babies. They get murdered, these are babies. They're not in some gang, they were just at school. They're not out here doing fuck shit. They're not out here, you know, antagonizing police or, or, or starting wars with, with, with the, the, the American so-called mighty military. 
America's mighty military. No, 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 no. They were going to school. They were not even adolescent yet. These were babies. Uh, but on August the 12th, 2017, some, some slam ball, he drove his Dodge, he drove his Civil Dodge Challenger right into, I mean, uh, uh, excuse me, Challenger right into a, a, a group of peaceful protesters. Peaceful protesters. Uh, into a crowd of people protesting the same type of, this, the same type of hatred. They were protesting, you know, these hatred, these hate mongers. You know that little boy, and 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 and, and this boy was. Uh, let me just say this. Let me just say this. This boy was just a couple of years older than the oldest victims at the school. That went in and and, and carried this, this 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 heinous shit out. This heinous act. He went and carried this out, but he was just a baby himself. Eighteen years old. What he murdered. Another one murdered. But 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 let me just say this right here. Okay, these people out here protesting these hate mongers, right? And another hate monger, even though he was a baby, went right into the school and murdered more children. So I'm asking myself, first of all, why is is so many of you out there? On that same side. Oh, that's my husband. Oh, that's my father. Oh, that's my son. Oh, that's my brother. Oh, that's my sister. But now, when they go shoot up a school, oh, I, I don't condone that. I didn't. Con I don't. I don't. I, I think he was going through something. And <laughs> wow, wow. Okay. All right. Um. So, so, you know, so, so, so somehow, you know, all of you are ignorantly, you know, you keep on fighting to keep America going in, in, in this so-called right direction by these hate mongers. They say they don't want to be replaced. They're not going to be replaced. So they're going to just keep killing people. And you don't think these are domestic terrorists. You think that they're, that this is a, a rightful call, a just cause. This is not a just cause. How could it be a just cause when these hate mongers, you see what they do? They don't just kill gay people, blacks. They don't just kill, you know, Latinos. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They have a problem with everybody. And they are using you and your stupidity. They're using you to keep funneling funds and resources through their sad, uh, 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 twisted, sideways, you know, thinking projects. You know, they're using you and they're using all of these uh, institutions and these systems. They're using them to further their cause, which is to destroy everybody but them. And you are helping them. You're helping them. How are you helping them? You keep putting these slime ball politicians in the office. You don't know anything about them. And then when they go in there and they do fuck shit, we just, oh, well, shit. Nothing we can do. We put them in office and now, guess what we're doing out here? We're feeling powerless and helpless because they are the ones taking our power, making us feel helpless. These are the same people. So, so I'm talking about peaceful protesters that were in the street protesting against, you know, and, and, and the thing about a protest is I just want to put my body here so you can see. Y'all could just read my sign. I'm just saying, or listen to what I'm saying. I'm just saying that you're wrong, man. The shit you're talking about, the shit you're doing is wrong. Just pro That's all a peaceful protest is. I'm just saying, you're wrong, man. Please, listen to me. But those hate mongers, were they at all peaceful? Not in the least. Now we could we could look back on uh, some of the Time Life, you know, magazines, or we could look back on some of the uh, news articles and the clippings, and we could see some of the weaponry that these people had, and some of the uh, uh, vicious attacks that they did to old people and women and kids out there. We could see this evidence in history. We could see this these hate mongers that you. Uh, 
support. Let me just say it. You support these people. Why do? You, why, why can I say that? I can say that because you have not. What? What? what what's the, the new saying? Silence is complicitness. Silence is no excuse anymore. Turning your back. Oh well, I mean, that's just not. That shit's played out. Man. We're not gonna do that. We can't do that. Look at what's going on. We can't do it anymore. How can we keep turning our goddamn heads, turning our, our cheeks to this shit, turning our eyes, turning away from them? How can, how can we keep just saying, well, uh, well, it, well, it's them. It was over there in that state or it was that school or it wasn't my, my kid's school or thank God it wasn't, you know, none of my family. Or my. How can you keep saying that? So what's, what, what's going to happen when it is? Now you're going to be mad? Well, that, is that what it's going to take for you to be mad? Oh my goodness. But I saw so many forms of weaponry on these domestic, on these domestic uh, uh, slime ball terrorists. You know what I'm saying? Out there attacking peaceful American citizens. That's what they were doing. And now you're trying to tell me that gun control is America's only problem. Oh, we just got to... Uh, get these Democrats to just uh, 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 oh, these Republicans won't just uh, uh, are you fucking serious? This lady, Heather Hyatt, she did, she didn't die by a gun, uh, a, a, a gunshot, a gun wound. She died by a car. It was a fucking car. What about the police officer, January the sixth? that got killed. Uh, he got beat to death. He didn't get. He, he didn't get shot. He got beat to death. So, so you you're still telling me that it's only gun, gun violence is our only issue? Wow. What about the fucking maniacs behind the trigger? Is nobody? Or, 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 wait, 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 wait. After all of these different incidents, right? Let me just say this. After all of these different situations that keep popping up, are we still that out of touch? and afraid to, to, to point the finger at exactly who, who the fuck is in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? Are we still afraid to say, oh, what? we got to start. So have we been that brainwashed and saying, well, if we help these people, then we're, we're, we're going to lose something, I guess. We're, maybe we'll, we're not going to be as high up on the food chain or maybe we're not going to have as much money if we give money to the, getting these motherfuckers off the street and, and getting their minds right and or maybe we maybe we, if we just quit putting money into this crazy shit over here and making these clansmen and these nationalists and all these these hate mongers more and more rich richer and richer maybe we quit supporting that shit wow what, what a concept what if we quit putting money in their pocket Would they, would they, would they try to change something then? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't even talk like that. I ain't even supposed to be talking like that. But anyway, Miss Haya, just like all these fucking children that are dying, or that are dying, just like all these people that are getting killed in these Walmarts and churches and, and wherever, ever, every, everywhere else, all of these people are becoming just another face of the civil rights movement. They're just the, it, exactly the way these two officers did. There were two other people that died on that day in Charlottesville, Virginia. There were two police officers. All right? Lieutenant H.J. Cullen of, of Midlothian and Trooper Pilot Burke M.M. M. Bates of Quentin. Both of them died in a helicopter crash that same day. And news reports say that uh, they died in a helicopter crash while assisting public safety resources with the ongoing situation at the time, which was this violent mob, these violent domestic terrorists, these so-called right-wing motherfuckers. They just, you know what I mean? Whatever name you want to give them, whatever name they want to go by, whatever they want to be called, they, they, were, they were doing terroristic shit. They were fucking shit up. They were trying to kill people, and they did kill people. But these two officers were in a helicopter. But the, uh, but the excuse me, the circumstances surrounding that, that, that mysterious helicopter crash, 
they were all, they were all, they were all, they were all suspect. Was, the circumstances were all suspect. But they swept that shit under the rug because there were two police officers that died. And guess what color they were? They wasn't, they wasn't black. They wasn't black. There were two police officers, white police officers that were murdered. But, but that shit got covered up. That shit got covered up quickly. So my heart goes out to them as well, as well as Miss Hyatt, the 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 the, the, the face of uh, the face of civil rights the civil rights movement, um, the face of the civil rights movement. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? The face of the civil rights movement. She don't even look like me. Seems like I would be face of the civil rights movement. You know what I mean? I was trying to speak up for some shit. She looks nowhere near like me. But check this out. Responding to uh, responding to the tragic incident in, in, in Charlottesville, then Senator, uh, the Republican Senator of Arizona, uh, Senator John McCain, he released the following statement. Let me read this right. He says, our founders fought a revolution for the idea that all men were created equal. The heirs of that revolution fought a civil war to save our nation. Conceived in liberty and dedicated to that revolutionary proposition. This is what Senator McCain was saying. He says, nothing less is at stake on the streets of Charlottesville, Virginia, where a violent attack has taken at least American life and injured many others in a confrontation between our better angels and our worst demons. Ooh! White supremacists and neo-Nazis are, by definition, opposed. You heard what I'm telling you. This was white man. I didn't say this. A white man telling you that these people are opposed to American patriotism. I don't give a fuck what they say and how many flags they carry and how many uh, uh, stars and stripes they paint all over their jeeps and, and carry all in their trucks and shit. They are opposed to American patriotism and uh, the, and the ideals that define us as a people and make our nation special. They are opposed to all of this. As we mourn the tragedy that has occurred in Charlottesville, American patriots of all colors and creeds must come together to defy those who raise the flag of hatred and bigotry. He said a flag of hatred. So this is what I'm telling you. These are hate mongers. Right? These are hate mongers. This is what I'm telling you. These people are raised the flags of hatred and bigotry. I don't give a fuck what the flag looked like. This is what it represents. This is why people are dying. This is why your children are dying. This is what I'm telling you. This is one in the same incident. The same incident. These kids in the school, these people in churches and stores, these people at Charlottesville, Virginia, these unarmed black people in the streets, wherever they may be, these are all the same incident. It's all the same thing. It stems from the same thing. It stems from these fucking hate markers. And your politicians, wait, 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 wait. Did you see the police in Uvalde, Texas? They allow for this thing to transpire. They allow for these parents to have to go through the tragedy of losing their children. They allow this. So I'm telling you, what I'm telling you now is these hate mongers, they consist of police officers. They're slave patrols. Like I always tell you about on my show, these are slave patrols. They're nothing more. They're a hired militia hired by these hate mongers. They're, hi they're not hired by me. I didn't hire them to, to do any goddamn thing in, in my city, in my country, in the country that I live in. I didn't hire them for shit. But they were hired by these hate mongers for people like me. 
Now, okay, now let me just say this. It was nothing when it was just people like me. But now, it's your children as well. So now, let me just, let me just fast forward into this right here. A real intelligent brother named uh, Foss L. He wrote this a, a couple years ago. He said, and he gave me, I made him give me a copy of this. I said this before on my, uh, on my show. I, 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 I repeated this before on my show, but I want to say this today. The most powerful obstacle against the liberation of the African peoples from white domination and exploitation is not the ability of whites to use superior military or police firepower or their threat to use it against the African insurgency, like if we were just to uprise or anything like that. No, 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 no. It's not, that's not their most powerful, that's, that's not the most powerful obstacle is, is keeping these things in play. You see what I'm saying? But it is their ability to engage in unrelenting psychopolitical violence against the collection of, of, of the collective of, of, Af of the African psyche. It is the ultimate, no, excuse me, excuse me. It is the white monopoly on psychic violence and their devastatingly ingenious use of it against the minds of African peoples, which represent the greatest threat to African survival. Now, let me just say this right here. If you look at that through a gray lens, you'll see black and white. But what I'm telling you is this, this, this thing is not about black and white. And you can keep, you can continue to think it is and stay in your fucking bubble and people are gonna continue to die. People are gonna continue to get hurt, murdered, uh, trampled, uh, ran over, all kinds of different things. There's all kinds of crazy shit going on out here because you are sitting in your little chair or you're sitting at your, at your little house and you're thinking, oh, I, what, what can I do? I can't do nothing. Well, and so nothing gets done because the same shit you're thinking, this person's thinking and that person's thinking and she's thinking and he's thinking over here too. Like, shit, what the fuck can I do? Well, I can just go to a Trump rally. I'm going to just go to a Trump rally and he, he know what to do. He... he Trump says that because people want to uh, disband the police, this is why the shooting occurred. So what the fuck did the police do when they got there? Can somebody tell me that? <laughs> we should disband the police because what the fuck did they do? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> what did they do? Did they help anybody? Did they help any one of them kids not get murdered? Fucking Trump, man. You listening to this guy? Like... In January the 6th, wasn't the wake-up call enough for you people out here? And you're saying that I'm smart, I'm intelligent? Wait a minute, how can you keep calling yourself these names? Keep labeling, labeling yourself with these titles? How can you keep doing that? And you keep responding in, 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 in ways that are not intelligent. I, I don't understand. I'm not the smartest person in the world. And I don't stand before you and try to claim to be. So make it make sense. All right. So, 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 let me just say this right here. Let me just say this while you you trying to formulate your thoughts so you can make it make sense to me. Okay. Let me just say this right here. Heather Hyatt's mother, Miss Miss Susan Bro, she said that her daughter was trying to bring an end to injustice. You see this? Her daughter is trying to bring an end to injustice. What the fuck are you doing? Are you telling me? Oh, there ain't nothing I can do. This is a young woman, paralegal. You, you remember what I said earlier, when, when, when she felt like she wasn't being heard enough, she went to social media. A young woman, she wanted to bring it into injustice and to stop hatred in the world. See what I'm saying? She said about her daughter, I don't want her death to be a focus for more hatred. I want her, to, I want her death to be a rallying cry for justice and equality and fairness and compassion. I want her death to be this, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't let it be in vain. But let me just tell you people out here, every time that we turn off the news or we turn off the radio or we get off of social media and we stop 
talking about this shit that's going on and we turn our attention back to this bullshit that's going on in our lives that, that, that we place so much um, authority and energy in, another situation will happen. Another situation will happen. This will increase. This will continue. Why? Why will it continue? Why? And I'm sitting here telling you as hard as I can. It's your fucking politicians. But you don't, no, 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 it don't make sense. No, 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 not this one. No, he said this. He ran on this platform. He said he was gonna do this. Okay, I'm not gonna dispute any of that shit. I'm just gonna tell you that was another incident that happened. Something else happened. That's all I'm gonna say. Something else happened. Where are these police? Where are these politicians that you say are changing so much shit out here? Where were you? Where are you right now? Where are you? Oh my goodness. Let's all point the finger. Let's say it's them, oh well, this is why, and this is why, and, and, and our kids, our kids are more and more mental health. It's increasing. It's increasing. Now it's not just in this localized, centralized area where, where you know, everybody was, everybody was cool and it was just, Little black kids were fucked up and demented and, and tormented and tortured and you know it was, everything was cool and they were just dumb and came to school smelling bad and didn't have you know, food for breakfast and couldn't concentrate because they were hungry and smelt like you know whatever and you know <laughs> my my kids ain't like you know even with the black race they were shit. I, my, my kids ain't going to school smelling like they gonna have these latest Jay they gonna have this goddamn. Okay, so so let's face it then, America. Let's fucking face it. Let's let's put the truth out there. How many of us even remember this lady that I'm speaking about, Heather Hyatt? How many of us re even remember the the Charlottesville incident? Oh my goodness! How many of us can even say that I know just one name of of one of the little kids that died at Sandy Hook? Just one one of the children's name. Wait, 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 wait. So, 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 so what about the other day? Can, can any of you name just one child that, that got killed, got murdered? What about the, what about, what about any of these incidences? Incidents, excuse me, incidents. What about any of these incidents? Can we name a person that got murdered recently? tragically not even recently any of these incidents can we name a person especially one of the kids can we name one of these kids we ain't talking about your boo your boo got killed in front of his kid all right his kids suffer too yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but we talking about the chill the actual children that get murdered out here don't even know their name we don't even know their name can you tell me one of the, one of the names so so basically what i'm trying to tell you Next week, it won't even be a hashtag anymore. Next week, it won't even be a conscious memory or a conscious thought anymore. Next week, it won't be nowhere on your radar. Next month, oh my God. Even this weekend, you out here shaking your asses and partying and cooking out and going to this place and that and doing this and that. I mean, even this week, after this weekend, it probably won't. It, it, after Monday, Back to work, you won't even think about this again unless something, something, some type of social media feed pops up, or one of your coworkers, or one of your homies, or one of your girl. They say something about it. Did you know such, such, such? A, won't even pop up. So, in my mind, in my heart, I feel like I have to say that it's time for us to stop not caring. It's just fucking time for us to stop not caring. And if you don't care, okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> we don't fucking care about you either. Okay, cool. We don't care about you either. You know what I'm saying? Good. Get the fuck out the way. You know what I'm saying? Stop wanting to be in the way. That's what I'm talking about, that mental health shit. Get the fuck out of the way. Why are you in the way anyway and you trying to, you know, falsely make a person think you care 
and you're playing on their their their, their hurt, their their, their 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 shame and their sorrow and their their you know all of their their, their emotions, their pity, their you know what I'm saying, their anger. You're playing on their frustrations. Stop it! Get the fuck out of the way. That's what I'm gonna tell you. Get the fuck out of the way. It's time for us to stop not caring, y'all. All right. So listen to what listen to what I'm saying. Y'all. And then I'm, I'm gonna cut this off because y'all got shit to do. I got shit to do. So that's why I said we're gonna end it early today. Let's try to try to breeze through it and keep my uh, keep my emotions um, to a, to a, you know to a slight <laughs> the roar. You know, keep my passion. You know, from burning too too wildly. You know, like a forest fire. My shit get out of control sometimes. But let me just say this right here. A GoFundMe was set up by friends of the higher family back when this incident happened, raising $159,786 toward a $200,000 goal at the time of said publishing, right? At the time that the uh, author published this article, that's how much they had raised on a $200,000 goal. So over the next few weeks, I want to set up a GoFundMe right I want to set up a GoFundMe and I want somebody out there uh, to volunteer to be the person in charge of this GoFundMe to rock with me and be in charge of this GoFundMe so that you'll know that I'm not just I'm dipping into these funds and I'm, and I'm buying me some new J's I'm buying me the latest got them forces you know what I'm saying the Air Ones you know what I'm saying I'm not trying you know what I mean I want you to see where this money is going I want somebody out here that's that's passionate about getting involved because I also want a fresh perspective on how I already know what we got to do. So I want a fresh perspective. I want another person to come in, help me with this, and let's go forward from here. Let's push forward from here. Over the next few weeks, I want to set up a GoFundMe for anyone interested now. I want you to tag me, holler at me, Matter of fact, give me some likes too, y'all. Get out of here. Get, get, get playing with that shit. Give me some likes and subscribe. And then I want somebody to reach out to me and say, listen, I want to be your assistant. I want to be your partner. Whatever the case. And listen to this. And listen to this right here. Thank you, babe. I love you. I love you out there. I love you, girl. <laughs> My bae out there. You hear me? But look, over the next few weeks, I want to do this. And our goal will be the same thing. $200,000, but this time it won't be to help ease the family's burdens. See what I'm saying? Even though all these people just, just, just lost their children, it won't be for that. You know, I, I pray that um, a lot of you are setting up GoFundMe for them, to help them, but this is not for that. This time it won't be to help a family cope with their loss. This time, family, Family, this time right here, we're going to do what should have been, been done. We sh we're going to do what should have been done years and years ago. But I was out of the way. They took me out of the system, when, I mean, out of the out of the, the, the play when I was young. You know what I'm saying? So now I, I fought my way out of the system. I did. I fought my way out of that system because so many people lay down and died in there. Even if not physically, mentally. But I fought to get back to here because... The injustice that happened to me, I'm fighting today to, right now, I'm fighting today, right now, to push my finger dead in your fucking chest and say, I want you to save your children. I don't want your children to go through what the fuck I went through or what the fuck I seen them other motherfuckers going through, them other kids that were raised in there. I don't want to see that shit. If you, I'm pushing, I'm pointing my finger at you. If you want to save your fucking kids, man. Now, I already know, I already told you, I know a lot of you people don't give a fuck and a lot of you people think that your children should be exactly the way you are and the way you were and be fucked up in the mind and all that and grow up and live a fucked up hard ass life. I respect that. I want you to keep, <laughs> keep that same fucking energy. I love that. Keep that energy and get out the way. This is not about it. We, we not with you. We not about you. We not trying to help you. But it just so happens, just like Martin Luther King said, the Reverend Doctor, he said, an injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere. So to help 
this child, I have to have you. You see what I'm saying? Even though, even if I might not want to, it's just the, it's just the nature of this thing. We have to heal this country, y'all. We have to help this country survive. And if you're not on that same page, just like Ms. Hyatt said, Heather Hyatt said, if you're not outraged, you're not paying a fucking attention. Or maybe it's because you're part of the fucking problem. Maybe it's because you're part of the fucking problem. So this shit is fun and games to you. Please, please get out of the way. Please get out of the way. These children are dying out here. Uh, you know, we, we worried about a fucking, and, and you know, it's no disrespect, but we worried about a Ukraine right now. People in Ukraine, these mothers and kids and these, you know, all right, cool. What about right here? What about in your backyard and your next door? You know, what about these, these kids right here? What are you talking about? What you fuck make me understand this shit? What the fuck are you talking about? Anyway, we're gonna use this two hundred thousand dollars to form the greatest coalition in the history of the United States, in the history of America. We're gonna use this money. We're gonna use these resources to to gather together. We're gonna start. We're gonna start the biggest. We're gonna start the greatest following. We're gonna start the biggest wave in the history of way past the energy of the civil rights, way past any movement that has ever transpired on this planet. This is what we, this is what I'm going to start, y'all. With me or not, it don't matter. Like I tell you all the time, I know some of you people out there, you don't respect, you don't even give a fuck about your, as long as you get the kid, you put your kids on with these new little clothes and you put the, the new little, all right, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I don't respect none of that shit. You don't care about your kids. I see it every fucking day. And so let me just love you, little bro. Hope, hope the fam is good. Love all y'all out there. Uh, let me just end this up real quick. Like I said, I know y'all got shit to do. We got shit to do. Um, so let me just say that we're going to start the greatest coalition in the history of this country. And what we're going to do is we're going to get all these bullshit politicians out of office. Now, all these other countries, you know, they having the similar problems. They having similar problems. But we're gonna start right here in this country, right? We're gonna get all these bullshit politics. These bullshit, it's time for, it, it's, it's past due time for you to go, man. Y'all done had your fun. It's time to go home. Take your little toys, get the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out the way, man. It's time to get on out the way. So this is what we're starting today. I need somebody as an assistant, start this GoFundMe up. Watch this money. We're gonna, we're gonna do what we gotta do with this money. Somebody holler at me. You see what I'm saying? Dig this channel. Sao Omega S A Omega Six on the gram, or Lord Christopher Eighty Two on the gram, or Lord Christopher Six Eighteen on YouTube. Check with me. Get with me. My number is all over the place. My other number is all over the place. My other number and my emails all over the fucking place. Here I am, y'all. Let's get this shit started. There's too many people dying out here. There's too many families grieving. There's too many. There's too many. Not even just suicides happening now. They're they they're, they're having what we call suicide clusters now. Have you ever heard of a suicide cluster? Oh my God! And you're still not, you're still not in, in, in tune with what I'm what I'm saying. No, 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 no. This time right here, we're gonna come together and we're gonna chase those fucking demons out of public uh, public office, out of these public seats. We're gonna come together this time right here. All of us that have lost family, man. All of us that have have, have children and brothers and fathers sitting in these prisons. All of us that, that have lost fucking kids, man. All these kids out here in these schools. All of us that have, you know, missing kids. People, people out here snatching your children up, your girls, your daughters, your, your friends, you, you know, snatching them up. They, we don't know where they are now. It's time for us to get this shit together, y'all. So, here I am, holla at me. This time, we're going to use this money to do with the fuck. All these fucking celebrities out here, they go, oh, I'm gonna give uh, two million to this bull. This bullshit ass got them non-profit that nobody never heard of that they haven't helped any goddamn body. All these fucking non-profits out here and, and the shit keep getting worse. All these churches out here, shit keep getting worse. How the, can somebody make, make, make this shit make sense to me? There's no fucking way, man. 
What it is, is you motherfuckers have invited demons into your heart and into your house. And guess what? Demons take their due. Demons take their fucking due, bro. So now your kid is missing. Now your kid is murdered. Now your your husband is getting doing this and going through this. And he's uh, uh, flipping out. Now he's bipolar. Now your wife is... Is ODing on pills all the time and getting high. Your kids over here ODing and they going through, you know, taking this, they're going through these opioid epidemics and all. I mean, come on, man, it's too much going on out here because you're inviting these demons into your heart and then they come right on up into your house. So listen, uh, like I said, get with me, holler at me, and you already know first person that call after this show, get free prizes or free money. Chat with me. Um, I'm out of here. I got a little, I got a little um, situation to get them get to. You hear me? So love y'all, all right? Love y'all. Listen, holla at me. I need a, I need an assistant, man. Holla at me.